All right, guys, so today we are destroying our shoulders. I told Charles, do not take it easy on me. Train me just like I was preparing for the Mr. Olympia, so see what he has in store. Now, you do it. Keep it right about here. Got to wrap up my glutes. Hey, yep. And then dip the chest up, and then just bring it out. Dip the chest up and push out. Don't bring it to the front. Keep it there. There you go. Now, I'm here, so you want to hit me. There you go. There you go. Come on. There you go. That's it. Come on. Push away from the body. Push away, there you go. Push it away. Like you're coming at me to hit me. Come on. There you go. Come on, brother. Right there. Good. Give me one more rep. One more rep. Perfect. Good. Now, same way. You're going to bring it up, squeeze, and then bring it down. Okay. Okay. Up. No, no. You, you went out. Bring it straight up. Uh, up. Turn it. Squeeze. Now bring it down. There you go. I'm doing a slight turn. Yep. Don't turn all the way. Just turn right to there. Squeeze. Right there. That's it. Good. Do it again. We haven't done that one before. No. <laughs> I still do the six ways I call. Oh, that's a good little warm up. That's, that's, I still that's a do good warm up. <laughs> but I've been doing this. I go kind of like here. Look what happens. You stay in front. You right. Stay, You're hitting more. Alright. You do it here and you rotate the elbow. Stays right here. So that's hitting more side dub versus front dub. Stays there. You can't do anything else. So only done the warm up set. Already got a great shoulder pump. These little form tweaks, guys, are so valuable in your training. So make sure you guys pay attention close. Incorporate these things. That's it. Come on. There you go, right there. That's, that's it. it. If I go too high, I get my traps in. Mm -hmm. Right away. That's it. Let me have two more, just like that. Just two. Now let me have one. Stop right there. We're doing the front raise now? Front raise. It, it should be hard, almost in a triangle. Ah, I see. That's it. Now I see that. See? Front, yeah. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Hold it. See? Right there. That's it. It's the Come hold on. that's killer. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's yeah. it. Come on. Dude. Let me have one. Perfect. I did feel. That was really good. With shoulders, like 10, 12 rep range, a little higher rep. 10, 12. Yeah. I always got good results by doing a higher rep. Don't get it turned so much. Just leave it and then stop and stop. That's it. Come on. Oh. Let me have one. There you go. Good. Let me have one. Perfect. Good. Let's do upright rows. Remember these two, really important not to go too high, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, pull from the elbow, so you go up, pull. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. What about my grip, what about shoulder width? No, wider than that. Your hands are in, you affect the trap right away. Uh, I see. Now just lift the elbow on there. There you go, that's it, come on. Lift the elbow, chest up, now put, lift straight up. Pull from here, elbow stay in front. There you go, good, good, stay. Perfect, that's it, push the elbows out. There you go. Push it out. That's it. Come on. Perfect. So once again, subtle little form tweak. Bringing the hands more outside. Nice and wide. Not going too high. Initiating with the elbow. I mean, you just see the striations. See the side dough popping from that. Really not going too high. That's all it is. And just yeah. initiating with that elbow coming up. It feels really good. You're gonna go so high. You think between my shoulders, triceps, and biceps, is there anything that you see liking? You've lost weight. Probably because I've been cutting. Oh well, okay. Yeah. So you don't you think everything's proportional? Just yeah, but now, pack yeah. on some size. So for pure size, you just can't do anything better than just hitting 8 to 12 quality reps, right? Uh-huh. But if facing in, push. Charles said I was small, so we got to make some shoulder games. I know, I said you're a little smaller. <laughs> I never said you're small. <laughs> <laughs> now kick it out. Let's go. Out. There you go. Right down the rear jump. Push it. That's it. Come on. If you notice, the elbows are bent. Just enough. Not all the way in, but just enough so you keep that pressure on what? The rear jump. In that rear jump. There you go. Good. Good. Two. One. Perfect. Good. That's it. Woo. 
How'd it feel? That was good. Anytime you're doing a move like this, it's, all, it's hitting a little side though, right? Oh, yeah, you, but mostly rear. Anytime you do this, I mean, you get a little bit, but mainly there. You can see it rear delt really popping up. Get the butt off the bench. There you go. Let's go. Kick it. There you go. Right there. Come on. <laughs> Last one. What I like about this exercise, all while he's hitting rear delt, you get a lot of that rear trap going here, and he got mid trap going. What do you think is a good amount of volume on shoulders? Because I posted a 25 set shoulder workout, and I was getting a lot of hate that people are like, oh, you gotta be on steroids to do that many sets, not much volume. No matter what you do, you're gonna have critics. But 25 sets, nah, I cut it down. Yeah, you think that's too many? Yeah. For the average person. But yeah. if you've been in the gym for 12 years and you think you're at a plateau? No, I think you're doing good. You, you do what feels best for you. Right. And you can't worry about what everyone else is saying, because you know, I would have people. There you go. Don't let, don't let the arms spin. Lock the arms out. Oh, there you go. Come on, come on. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So, lock leaner than what you do. Yes. Yes, size, stick. Always motivating. Got crushed in my race against Marvin. Now Charles is telling me I gotta get bigger, you know. Hey, what what about. Right. <laughs> no, if you like what you have, then you quit it. Right there. Now, lean forward as you push up. Ready? Here. Now, lean, lean in toward me. Bring the elbows to the front right here. Slow it down, slow it down. There you go. Good. One. Good. That was good. I did heavy press my last shoulder workout, trying to challenge myself. Dumbbell shoulder press, mm -hmm. is that a, a good mass builder, would you say? I can use everything. Dumbbells, you gotta do it right. Right. And most people, they start cutting it short, so you don't feel the same. Right. But when you go where you break the parallel, here, and now you gotta press back through, Right. You get, you where should control. you stop? Right about there, just give a little parallel. I see. You know, there you go. Now, elbows stay in front, so you're there. Let's go. That's it. Elbows in front. Come on, come on, keep it there. Let's go, let's go. One, press. That's it. That was, heavy. That was good, though. It gets heavy quick. Rest time on shoulders, like 60, 90 seconds? I say this, you start going heavy, I wait till you recover, then we go. Not completely recovered, but up to a point. Right. So if 90 seconds, then you're ready to go, we go. Now lean forward, lean forward, not push. There you go, push, stop it. There you go, push. Last two. Sorry. Last one. Up, up, up. Good. Another day torturing myself here. Good to be back at Gold Gym Venice. I probably had like, I'd say 50 or 60 workouts here with Charles. I'll throw the playlist down below. Literally hit every single muscle group with him four or five times. Tons of amazing videos. We're gonna have Charles assess my physique at the end, figure out what my weak points are. Easy for me to judge my physique in the mirror, but it's great to have an expert actually do it and tell you like, okay, you know, maybe it's the side delts, maybe it's the lats, the biceps, you know, the quads, whatever weak point is. I know if Charles tells me it's a weak point, he's it's definitely right, so. <laughs> Here we go. There you go. Right there, good. That's it. Good, that's it. Up. Come on, come on, come on. Up. One, come on. Up. Good, there you go. Oh, How did yeah. it feel? That was good. Perfect angle. I really felt like a, more of a mind muscle connection. Because uh -huh. usually I do heavy like overhead press. I don't really feel it. I'm just like moving the weight. Yeah. There you go. Now, I slide your body out a little bit first. There you go. Come on. Come on. Up. Two more, two more. Come on. Up. One big one. Up. Fire it up, fire it up, fire it up, fire it up. That's it. Perfect. Oh yeah. That last one, I felt like I was in slow motion. That was really good. The key is really failing in that kind of eight to 10 rep range. It shouldn't be so heavy, you can only do like three or four, right? That's more of like strong man. Right? Yeah, strong man. <laughs> yeah. 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 Good, come on. Up. Up. Uh. One more, one more, one more, come on. Up. Go, drive, 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 Oh yeah. <laughs> I had no more than me. <laughs> Make sure I, uh, I can't even lift my shoulder up. <laughs> oh my god. Step four. Right there. You're facing this mirror here. Yeah, that's good. Right there. Facing it up. There you go. What do you think between chest and back? What needs more work? Like more width or more upper chest? You need upper pack no matter what you do. It's lagging up in here. Yeah. You have gained so much more mass in there. So you think my back's good? Just back's chest? good. We still need to get a little bit more thickness. For the lower lat. What about yeah. width? Okay, but you, you now. Pull your elbows forward. That's solid. That's solid. Okay. 
So traps and upper chest? Yes, yeah. Sit down on it and push out. You. There you go. See? You have sprinters left. Yeah. They're never going to be like, massive. They're not going to be massive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's through here is like, I get size here, I don't get size here. Front squat. Leg squats. Hamstrings. I mean, I feel like yeah, I'm quite down to it. All right, fam, let me know what you want to see me train with Charles next. I've worked out literally every single muscle group with Charles over the last couple of years on the channel, so I'll throw that playlist down below. You could literally put together an incredible free workout program from all the training sessions I've done with Charles. So many gold nuggets. He's trained The Rock. He's trained Mr. Olympia winners, so I always try to pick his brain and give you guys the best insights to help you guys build your physiques. I'm out here killing myself the last couple of weeks. I got in a workout with an NFL linebacker last week and an NFL wide receiver and now we're trying to focus on our bodybuilding so of course I'm trying to get bigger faster stronger take you guys on the journey with me so if you've missed any of the recent videos with all the NFL guys I'll throw the links down in the description below and if you want to put together a whole free workout program of all the workouts I've done with Charles I'll link that down below and I will see you guys on the next video